Oh, good morning, you beautiful people. As you might guess, I'm out on the water. In my little dinky boat. It's a Sunday, it's the 31st. Is it the 31st? I don't know, it might be, I'm not sure. <laughs> um, but anyway, does it really matter? Um, yeah, it, it's, uh, it's a lovely, the sea is so calm, it's like a bath. And I thought, I fancy going out on the water. I've not been out for quite a few days, in fact, probably a, a couple of weeks now. So uh, I thought, let's get the old girl out. Let's cut me a little bit of lunch while I'm out. So uh, I thought I'd bring you with me. Uh, I hope you're all okay. And as you can see, it's very calm. Look how calm that water is. Isn't it absolutely stunning? You know, just being out on the water and being with nature, there really isn't anything nicer. Every time you go out, you never know what you're gonna see. There might be a turtle swim by, the seagulls are out hunting, and you get little feathers on the water. It's just so relaxing. And, uh, oh, there's a flying fish. I've just seen a flying fish, you see? You just never know what you're gonna see. No mermaids, though. No, not yet. But, uh, so I just thought I'd have a nice little tootle out and just uh, enjoy a bit of time on the water. So thanks for joining me, and we'll get down to some lunch shortly. Rock and roll. There we are, there's a tanker over there. Let's go and check it out. Normally when they're on one anchor they will swing from left to right uh, in the winds but they uh, might even get away from this guy. <laughs> yep. <laughs> How cool is that? Let me zoom in. He's just giving me a wave, bless him. There we are. In fact all the, all the team are on there having a cup of tea look. <laughs> Fucking keep it still. Hello. <laughs> They're laughing at my little dinky boat. <laughs> there we are. The life of a merchant seaman, eh? Looks like it's uh, lunchtime for him. There's a guy there, just uh, probably been on night shift. But uh, pretty cool, eh? Pretty damn cool. I wouldn't normally come this close to a tanker or any boat, a large vessel for that matter. But as he's not swinging, because due to no winds, um, it's reasonably safe to do so, providing don't start his engines up. <laughs> so there you go guys, let me take you alongside. I wonder where he's from, it says Panama on the side there. Yeah, how cool is that? Yeah, they're having a cigarette there. Just chilling out, eh? What a life. And a well paid one as well, tax free usually. 
beautiful. There's his anchor chain, right just there. Just as well he's not swinging because he'd be bashing me right out of the way. There we are, one tanker close up for a sunny Sunday morning. Well, it's not quite sunny actually, the clouds are, uh, it's well overcast here at the moment, the clouds are quite low. There we are, beautiful. The thing about this little dinky boat, it really skims across the water. It's only a 40 horsepower engine, but by God, does it go. It's more like 140. And now, I'm ready for some lunch. So, uh, see you there guys, let's see you there. See what I mean about nature? There's a cormorant out having a bath. He's watching me. There he goes. Look at that. Isn't that just wonderful? Okay guys, I'm coming to a lovely little spot where I can drop anchor and it's uh, a nice little spot because it's a sandy seabed as opposed to rocky. It's an absolutely gorgeous little spot to hang out in if you want to do a bit of snorkeling or swimmings and or just general chilling out like we're going to do today. Um, yes, I'm quite ready for some lunch. If you're wondering what the water temperature is, the water temperature is 20.21 20 degrees. The depth is 11 feet. I always do mine in feet because I'm old school, so I prefer the imperial way of doing things. Feet and inches as opposed to millimeters, centimeters and meters and all that business. Might as well be talking Italian. Now we're at uh, nine foot deep. beautiful little spot, a perfect place for a spot of lunch, yeah. That's it, I think that'll do us, we're at 6.6 .6 feet, that'll do us just nicely, how peaceful it is. I'm going to drop anchor now and uh, away we go. <laughs> That's that job done guys. Now we need to reverse and uh, drag the anchor along the seabed to dig in. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, look at that. See? Just one little more little burst. Uh, she's in. Engines off guys, engines off. So, here we are guys. How peaceful and tranquil is this? They did actually uh, forecast a lot of rain today, but uh, so far so good. It has drizzled a little bit, but uh, nothing to worry about. And at the end of the day, we're on the water anyway, so uh, what does it matter? So yeah, we're at, uh, oh, we're at, now we're at seven foot, dead on seven foot. So that's perfect for a spot of lunch. Let's check it out. So, what have I got in my little goodie bag? Uh, let's check it out. <laughs> oh dear, it's not a little goodie bag, it's a bloody big goodie bag. But it gets better. Let's check it out, guys, let's check it out. Mm -mm, it's looking good. Okay, let me show you. Okay, first of all, 
we have the burner yes yes then we have some water because we're going to do ourselves some goddamn cowboy coffee so for that we're going to need some water and obviously a mug so that can go on there then we've got now in the last video this <laughs> this pan actually looked ginormous i think it i think it's actually less than half a liter um that it, it is quite tiny although it looks big on camera um <laughs> there you go girls oh right um so yes we've got the uh, cowboy coffee mug oh yes we've got to have the cowboy coffee pot so that's going to come out to play and uh, what else we've got in here oh we've got extra gas we've got the uh the powdered cream for the cowboy coffee and it's cowboy coffee guys isn't it hey oh, oh, oh. oh yes oh but we've got the main ingredients coming up now guys are you ready are you steady dinner now i can tell you something um i was a big lover of hb baked beans because of the sauce hp went out of business Heinz wanted to buy them to get the monopoly of the bean world but it went to court and they lost and then Branston bought HP so you've got Heinz and you've got uh, Branston beans however long long overdue Heinz have actually got their act together and realized that the people want sauce and lots of it so now the Heinz baked beans, which were originally a little bit boring compared with Branston, although it's personal preference, but I like a lot of sauce, a lot of juice, you know. Um, so, uh, and Heinz always uh, didn't provide much juice, uh, whereas Branston's did. But now Heinz have got their act together and they are now pretty damn good. So I'm quite proud to present this tin, whereas before you wouldn't have seen it at all check it out in a minute because you'll see them cooking so that's that but what do we have with beans guys what do we have with beans well well you could have all sorts really do you know what i've gone for today do you know what i've gone for today when i can bloody find them where are they oh here they are hiding in the corner they don't want to come out to play are you ready guys are you ready are you ready freddy oh yes 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 you've got it Brockverse sausages with the beans it don't get much better than that guys it's a match made in heaven yeah okay guys this is really good kit it's got a clip on lid so it's actually a saucepan as you might have gathered there's the handle clips down take the lid off look at that hey how cool is that oh yes yes and then we get the beans in okay in go the uh, beans mm -mm -mm. see how juicy that is look guys now pines were never like that a few years ago in fact a few months ago but they got the rack together oh beautiful eh so we'll cut that into there absolutely gorgeous in my little dinky pan in my little dinky boat <laughs> there we go beautiful put that in the rubbish bag in a minute and then we've got these bad boys oh yeah no I'm not gonna eat them all no I'm not gonna eat them all trust me I'm not gonna eat them all all we're going to do we're going to chop some up and put them in the beans and in my microphone bag <laughs> is my German army standard issue cutlery set never let me down it's absolutely awesome guys absolutely awesome look at this how cool is this eh how cool is that and a tin opener as you saw in a previous video and of course the obligatory bottle opener as well perfect 
Okay, but at the moment I've got to get these sausages out. So let's open this beautiful Brockwurst or Bockwurst, I should say. I'm thinking Bratwurst. <laughs> look at that, girls. I'm oh, sorry, look at that, guys. Hey, eh? ho ho ho. There's number one. How many shall we go for? 10, 11, 14? No, 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 don't be silly. We'll go for three because I'm going to chop them up. Yes. And we'll have the other ones tomorrow somewhere. Okay, one knife. Jobs are good and cut them up. Mm -mm 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 -mm. You see, as you know, guys, that uh, Heinz used to do, I don't know whether they still do or not, but they used to do um, tins of sausages and beans just like this. But the sausages were a bit cheapo. Um, they cut back on the sausages, on the quality. And I don't do that. Now look at that. How cool is that? That, guys, will now go on stove once I've lit it and that is my lunch there she goes on she is there we are and that is it won't take long at all guys won't take long at all five minutes bit of stirring and we have got lunch on a little boat and of course if I wanted to add some more sausages <laughs> there are no rules in rock and roll guys you know that don't you of course you do there are no rules in rock and roll yes we've got some great rehearsing coming up so uh, looking forward to that meeting up with the guys again we've had three weeks off and uh, really looking forward to getting back together with them oh they're bubbling beautifully now oh yes check it out guys check it out all you can hear here is just the lapping of the water along the shoreline and my beans bubbling <laughs> Mm-mm, bless my soul. Welcome to the church rag and roll. Oh, there we are, guys. One pan of sausage and beans. Mm-mm. So, yes, there we are. Mm, hot as well. Oh, 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 oh. I'll show you something in a minute. I've just noticed... Uh, We've had some quite rough weather over the last 10 days over here in Crete. High winds, all that sauce, you know. i tell you what, Heinz. Congratulations, Heinz. You're there. You finally clicked what the people want. Mm. Oh, sorry about the slurping, guys, but it's all that juice. Oh, oh, oh. Won't be long before some animals turn up. But uh, yeah, going back to what I was saying, I've noticed something, uh, there's been some high winds and there's a poor bugger up here who's a very large parasol. And it looks almost new as well. Has blown halfway down the mountain. I'll show you shortly. Just enjoying these. Mm. Yeah, here's the, here's the seagulls. No, you can't have any. Monkeys out there, cheeky, cheeky. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. tell you what, Heinz, <laughs> I'm well impressed, Heinz, I'm well impressed. And these sausages are nice too. Proper hot dog sausages, nice. Nice with a tin of beans. Mm, beautiful so yeah so there we are 
so yeah I, I like to come out on my boat um, come out and do you know do the solo trip just do be out on your own some quality time on your own taking in the vibes the nature vibes um, and just having some time out you know it's been a busy summer with the band we've had a great time the, the people have been absolutely fabulous uh, at all the gigs we've had we've met so many lovely people some serious rock and rollers from all over Europe and it's been a real pleasure it really has now I'm going to do something which is a little against the uh, rock and roll law I'm gonna have them, them sausages <laughs> it's so nice it's just so nice and hey who cares who cares I'm even gonna have them cold yeah oh you what do you mean uh yes I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it rules are there to be broken well some anyway let's just chop them up into the little sausages there we go oh it's beautiful beautiful and of course the beans will warm them up anyway a little bit I don't care I'm hungry and uh, these are just so moorish it's got to be done mm, nothing wrong with them awesome <laughs> the seagulls are getting more and more I think they're shouting out to the friends hey guys come over here there's this little guy in his little boat eating a little pound of sausages and beans mm. yeah nice just nice for a snack so tell me what you've been up to guys what have you been up to have you been doing anything I went camping uh, the other week with uh, some friends uh, in the woods. If you go down in the woods today. Um, and uh, we had a great time. We had a right good laugh. A real scream, actually. A lot of fun, a lot of fun. And that's one of the reasons why I bought the little boat. Um, because uh, it can get to the places where my bigger boat can't. And beach camping, I'm going to be doing a lot of beach camping. So because I think it's, I think it's great to get out in the outdoors, a bit of soul searching, a bit of just reflecting, a bit of, you know, dreaming, thinking, and relaxing more than anything. You know, it is quite a long winter, as we all know. So if we can grab these opportunities to get out and about, then why the hell not? I will be doing some fishing soon with my mate Charlie. Carl and Charlie's had fishing adventures, but without the fish. <laughs> mm. Oh, Lord, Lord, Lord. Well, mm. well, I would say that that is success in a pan, wouldn't you? Eh? Absolutely. Superb. I don't know who the chef is, but he's very good. Okay, so let me show you this uh, parasol. Because some poor bugger, and I'm hoping that they will, collect it. Let me show you guys. Let me show you this parasol. There you go. One parasol halfway down the mountain. Well, hill really. So there we are. Somebody's got a little job to do. Oh, how nice is that? Now, if I wasn't in my jeans, in fact, this is a perfect spot to come naked swimming. Yeah, you can't beat naked swimming. Awesome. You can't get much more natural than that. <laughs> okay guys, time for some cowboy coffee. Okay.
let's just measure out the amount of water I need in my little pot. This um, cowboy coffee is absolutely divine. Uh, I'm not a big coffee drinker, but this, when you're out on camp, or, or like we are now out on the water, is such a lovely change to cups of tea. Um, the coffee I'm using is quality, as you can see, and if you smell it, it absolutely smells delicious. Divine, divine! And my wooden spoon, there we are. We're going to put three heapfuls of ground coffee. I'm almost at the bottom of the bag now, but I do have another bag available, so I know this is four, but I'm only getting, I'm only really getting, it's got a one for rock and roll, but there we are. So, and you basically boil it, almost like the Greeks do with their coffee, but I did this for a Greek guy last weekend in the forest. And it blew away. He absolutely loved it. So we're going to put the put the uh, so we're going to put the pot on the fire again. There we go. And we're going to boil it as is. I'm not going to stir it because when it starts rolling, and you'll see what I mean by rolling shortly when it's reached temperature. Um, it will actually mix itself and believe me it is superb there we go so while that's doing its business I'm going to put uh, some cream and one sugar in my mug okay get the sugar out there we go. you can see I've got my tea bags there look oh yes but we're not having tea, we're gonna have goddamn cowboy coffee. Mm-mm, bless my soul. There we go. One sugar, bump, that's in there now. That's that done. That's that all sorted, done and dusted. Put the elastic band back on. Oh yes, keep all that, you don't want sugar all in your rucksack. Oh no, and then this uh, Café La Creme, love it, love it, there we go, move the lighter, let's put a nice big dollop of cream in, in fact we'll put a little bit more, in fact we'll do a little bit more for luck, <laughs> right, put that back in my rucksack, um, now I've saved this little bit of water for a good reason and I'll show you what that reason is in a minute okay that's all good and the coffee's doing nicely now there we are you see it's uh, pretty much uh, all gone in now the aroma oh yes it's starting to bubble a little bit now I can hear it Hey, oh, we're wobbling a bit. So there we are, and here's a... Was that a... That was a cormorant then, I think. Yep, he's just dived straight down. Mm-mm. Now I just need to control that so it starts rolling. Oh, they are, yeah, it's rolling. There we are. Now I'm going to let it roll for five minutes. That ensures that all the coffee granules are um, going round and round. Fucked. Rolling, 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 raw hide. So I'm going to let that do that for five minutes, as I say. 
and then I'll be back with you shortly guys and I'll show you a little trick okay guys five minutes has passed and uh, we're ready to do the trick and this is the trick to make the granules sink to the bottom there's two ways of doing it you can tap the uh, pot with the edge of a spoon three times but the method I like to use is shock it with cold water which adds a little bit more water to the drink like this here we go that will force all the granules to sink to the bottom and then when I come to pour it in a second you will have pure percolated coffee so don't go out there and buy a 200 euros or 200 pound coffee percolator when it can be done better and easier and cheaper like this. Plus, it's a lot of fun to do as well. Okay guys, moment of truth. Check it out. Just look as close as you can to how pure, look at that, no grains in there whatsoever. Absolutely the best because all the granules are in the bottom of this pot okay look at that look how clear that is one cowboy coffee mm -mm. so all we need to do now is stir that milk and sugar in a bit more and there's all the granules you see See the granules there? Look. See? That's what shocking does to it with the water. There you are. Give that a nice stir. And that, guys, is how you make cowboy coffee. Oh, oh, I say, oh, I say, I say, I say. Just listen to that water. Isn't it beautiful? Mm -hmm. Isn't that just absolutely gorgeous? This coffee is as well. Beautiful. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, the figures on COVID have really dropped now which is great um, and uh, the people have really made an effort to uh, cut down the numbers and not party out quite so much uh, it's not been easy on the Greek people or anybody for that matter um, but the Greeks have dealt with it superbly in my in my opinion um, really have really have and so have the Brits on Crete as well um, so uh, credit to all you guys for sticking at it and doing a great job and I hope all you guys in Britain are all, all okay and all my friends in the States as well and my old buddy Alabama Smokey Wilson good day to you my old cocker I hope you and your good lady are, are well um, um, sorry I've not done any boating videos for a while but uh, I've been pretty busy doing other things and stuff um, so yeah so there we are Rock and roll guys, rock and roll. Okay guys, that was lunch. I've just lifted the anchor and uh, just taken a nice steady reverse out of the uh, little cove. And the clouds have really come over now. So uh, I'm going to take a nice steady slow drive back but the water is so calm as you can see it's absolutely divine okay here we go let's go baby <laughs> nice and steady Eddie that's what we want nice and steady you can't beat a bit of me time <laughs> That soul searching, relaxing, reflecting, 
time on your own. I love it, absolutely love it, I do. I could quite easily become a hermit. If it wasn't for the band, I, I don't think I'd go out. I don't think I'd see anybody, actually. I think it'd probably be just me, the cats, uh, out with the animals, out with nature, just doing our own thang. That's country western talk, by the way. Thang, not thong, thang. It's just something, uh, it's amazing really. You uh, work all those years, you want a nice house, you want a nice car, you want a bit of money in the bank with, for some nice holidays. And then when you do actually do uh, re retire, all you want is a few beans in the cupboard uh, and the simple life, and back to basics. Almost caveman, I could quite easily become a caveman. If I found a cave, I'd probably buy it. Um, so yeah, so it's, it's funny how life works. You know, just, uh, it's nice seeing people. I love to see people, uh, but I also love uh, tranquility as well. So uh, that's where you're getting the, where I'm getting the balance between the gigs getting me out and about or forcing me out and about to meet different people and have a laugh and a drink and and a giggle and then the balance being back at home with the cats with my garden with my little boat uh, or boats I've got, I've got another one so uh, so yeah yeah so it's nice just to get out and live the simple way of life and uh, I find that uh, once you're retired, that's really all you want, simplicity. You don't need a fast car, you don't need a, a big expensive car, you don't need a big house, you just need the basics. And in my case, all I need is a tent. Um, it is, really is. And being amongst nature, you just learn so much. You learn a lot about yourself, a lot about nature, a lot about the world when you start thinking about it and uh, good for the soul good for the soul guys anyway I hope you've enjoyed this video um, I just thought I'd, I just fancy getting out on the boat just having a bit of chill out time and a spot of lunch so uh, you've joined me on that so thanks for joining me <laughs> sorry I couldn't share the beans and sausages with you or the coffee the coffee believe me was absolutely delicious. In fact, so much so, I wish I'd uh, made another cup as well. But uh, next time. But for those people that want to give it a try, as you've seen, it's very simple to do. And if you want more volume or more coffee, more of it, then just do it in a bigger pot. It, it does the same. I've done it at home in a big uh, pan uh, for four people, four or five people. And uh, so it's a nice, nice way of. Uh, making the literally making the coffee as opposed to just putting on a percolator and waiting with the filter and all that business um each to their own but i love doing it like that and that cream is just the cream on the cake really well not cake coffee really um and it just makes it one sugar kapow sorted and in my mug uh, there was no granules whatsoever clean as a whistle um, as you saw, the granules were on the bottom of the cooking pot. So, uh, so there we are. So, enjoy the rest of the journey. I'm going to head back now and uh, see you and catch you next time. Be safe, love each other, and be kind to each other. And let's just be nice and happy. All right. Take care and rock and roll. Bye for now. guys thanks for staying till the end of the video if you like the video why not place a like or even subscribe it'd be great to have you on board